My name is Francie Bayers from Stellenbosch Vigio magazine and today we are visiting the studio of Lionel Smith in Somerset West. Lionel, good morning, it's wonderful being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a fantastic beautiful studio. I'm really impressed. Who designed the studio? The studio was designed by a friend of mine, Stuart Hermansen. Uh, he's based in Stellenbosch. Um, his company's name is HB Architects. And, and yourself, um, I know a little bit about you, but, um, and, I, and I mean, we all know that your father is a real sort of well known artist, reputable artist. How did you get into art? I found myself obviously in my dad's studio, um, you know, while he was working and doing things, and I think all that kind of like energy of creative people coming in and out of his studio. I ended up connecting with these apprentices quite well. So I ended up having, you know, becoming friends with people from, you know, art students from university doing these apprenticeships. And I think that kind of like led its way into me going to art school. I then started painting actually. And that's where I kind of like developed the love for painting, you know. And the scale? Because for me, that's the one thing that really strikes me about your work, is really the, the presence and the scale of your work. Have you always worked this big? Yeah, no, I actually worked quite small in the beginning. Okay. Made millions of paintings about this size and it went really bigger and bigger. And I think I uh, occupied my father's old studios, uh, which were adjacent to our house. And uh, he moved out and got other studios and I think that idea of the space becoming bigger mm -hmm. um, actually influenced my work. So the, I think the idea about space is not necessarily the one singular area where you're painting, but the idea of working on multiple projects at the same time. And tell me this strange COVID lockdown times, how has that affected you? How has it affected your work, the way you work? Well, I did one uh, big exhibition opening in lockdown that was going to open at my gallery at Everard Reed in Cape Town. Yeah. And I worked harder than ever, I think, because I didn't have any distractions. And I think there was some evolution in my work and the way I approached my painting almost re returned to a more earlier stage and more raw in a way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I, I loved it. I mean, um, I didn't know if anyone was still going to buy art, but that was besides the point. <laughs> Lionel, walking into your studio, the first thing that caught my eye was this installation here. Um, such a powerful group, powerful group of women. Can you um, tell us a little bit, bit about this? Yes, it's an installation idea that started uh, when I started painting, you know, the sculptures. So the, the, that relationship began mm -hmm. and I created about 50 heads that was initially exhibited in Stellenbosch as an installation and then traveled to Miami as part of a show, um, various shows and ended up being part of my exhibition in the Museum of Contemporary Art. Wow. Um, and from there on I, I tried to keep it as a group and I, I brought it back to South Africa. So this is the first time that you used the three-dimensional sculptural head as a canvas and yes. started painting on it? Yes, yes. So yeah, I, I think it became, uh, I used car paint, you okay. know, so I tried to find the most durable paint that I can actually paint onto uh, a sculpture that can not fade or... or whatever, will they, you know. they be able to live outdoors? Yes, yes, it will be basically like having a car stand outside, you know, you'll have to look after it, but you know, the idea is that I think um, it, 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 it can be in the wild side. Yeah. And is it cast uh, in what material? It's cast in, in resin and fiberglass okay. and then uh, basically painted with automotive paint. Yeah. So is there one of each head? One of each, yeah. Basically, uh, it's, it's, I don't even remember how I did it, but it, it's based around a certain edition of some of the pieces. So the okay. ones with lines, there are certain amounts and then and so on. I'm not really 
sure what my future holds, but um, I think if I can carry on making work, producing art, um, I think I will be very happy. I think um, at the moment, um, artists in general, you know, continue their processes, and I think the world has not necessarily changed for them. You know, we are all probably more creative and um, the idea to carry on as an artist creating is essential so even if the world changes I don't think the creativity will